you just talk and I'll follow. Okay, Even so to any Aussie fans, I'll know what his car this okay. was once. So this car here is all original. Still got all the scuff marks and came to Australia in 1980 in February 1980. Yep. As part of a four-car team, um, Larry Burton was the driver and the captain of the team. Now, we talk about Swindell, but if you go back to 1980, mm -hmm. the Outlaws were still in their infancy. And the three others that came with Larry were Jimmy Sills, Doug Wolfgang, and Steve Kinzer. The man that put the team together, Bob Trussell, yep. built this car. This is original. The number, the, the, the chassis plate is on the dash, and this is chassis 355. Um, wow. So this car I purchased off Tony and Kay Dale yep. from the south coast of New South Wales maybe three and a half years ago now. Mm. But it's also led me to something else. It led me to meet the Burton family. That's right. In, in Sacramento. Yeah, I remember when you went over there. Which, again, you've done a drawing for me. That's right. Yeah, I did. Our, I handed that drawing to Linda Burton. Daughter. Uh, Larry passed Larry's away daughter. in 2007. Yep. And I handed that drawing to Linda in a restaurant in Sacramento and it brought tears to her eyes. And that drawing today is still pride of place in their dining room. So Unreal. we take this out and we demonstrate um, with the Vintage Association. Yep. And what I'm doing now is, again, I'm getting quicker in this car. I don't want to damage it. No. It's, it's exactly it's how a, it came to Australia. It's a rolling museum. Sorry? It's virtually a rolling museum. It, it, I don't want to damage no. it. Hence that one. Hence the, the, the one we were just looking at. So what we will do with this is there. maybe run this twice a year to keep it alive. Yeah, and just a half throttle. That's if we don't run it up the street to keep it alive. <laughs> um, but we, when we take this to speedways now, and in particular when we did demonstrate at Parramatta, yep. the uh, younger drivers of today would come and look <laughs> and go, you are kidding. Yeah, exactly. When you look at the seating area, the size of the steering wheel, how the, you put it into gear, the brake pedal where the fuel on-off switch is, um, the head height, the fuel tank. Uh, but basically, the running gear is basically the same as what we're running today. Yep. It's a, um, basically the tyres, the widths are the yeah. same as today. Yep. Motor capacity, of course, is a lot smaller. This is a 327 is that... cubic inch Chev. Yep. Compared to a, today's motors, a 410. Yeah. Um, the wheels, front wheels are the same as a current day sprint car. This car does not have power steering. Um, it's not fuel injected. It has a four That's barrel, wondering, yeah. four barrel carburetor. Did it have injection in, in the early days or not? Some of them did. Okay. This well, car didn't. This car was actually built in ignorance. Nebraska. Yeah. Um, for a gentleman named Norman Barr. And it did run three times. If you look closely, you might see a scratch mark here. It was green in colour and it only ran three times and I do believe that Norm actually came on the tour with the Bert with Burton and Bob Trossel uh, because they both wanted to come down under to Australia for a holiday of course and uh, the Norm the, the car number originally was 25 Oh, okay. And then it was repainted white, and as yeah. you, as you see it as it is at the moment. Um, the sponsorship, of course, Valvoline have been around for a long time. Hertz came about due to 
renter cars that were given to the, the team members when they were here. That's right, yeah. TAA, they flew them around because this car competed from as <coughs> far as Rolly Park in South Australia <coughs> up the east coast as far as Rockhampton. Um, top transport. Uh, yep. Now, here's an interesting fact I didn't know until recently. Ray Healy, who runs Cullen Bullen, actually towed this car around oh, okay. for, for Burton. Oh, really? So every time this car goes to Cullen Bullen, he jumps in and gets a photo with it. <laughs> and uh, so I thought that was a top transport um, logo. Yes. So top transport. Now, you, a recent addition, when I say recent, I put Tognotti's on here because Don Tognotti from Sacramento also had a a hand in it, and I remember uh, remember Gene Welsh talking about Don Tognotti often. And again, when I met Linda Burton, she said, you've got to go down and, and meet Dean Tognotti, which is Don's son. Hmm. And we went and met Dean on our trip. And Dean said, mate, I'd be proud if you could put a couple of stickers on the car. Hmm. Hmm. So there they are. And, Every time we take it out, yep. I send him a photo. <laughs> and I send Linda a photo and <laughs> and she often says, oh, Dad's still there. So <laughs> it's a bit of uh, sentimental stuff. Um, but And that's another reason. I, I, I just don't want to damage it. No, well, that's it. I mean, it's, like I said, it's a rolling museum yeah. with history, you know. <clears throat> and, so. and, and I have got promotional cards made up that we give to kids. Yeah. When at the end of a yeah. Speedway meeting, kids yeah. come up. And they want to talk, so yep. you know I do the Ricky Bobby thing and want to sign their forehead and give them a card and <laughs> all that type of stuff. Okay, so Lance, yeah, what's the story of this chair? How come it's sort of pointing into the shed? Oh, okay. Well, well, if you'd like to come around this. Side, oh, okay. We've got to come around now. If I now if I get emotional, yeah, that's that's okay. So if you come around this side, not a problem. What I'll do. I was a bit emotional yesterday, this, that's uh, okay. This is Kevy's chair. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to turn this up for you so you can zoom in on Kevy. There's Kevy. I know of him, yeah. Okay, so that's Kevy. I'm going to put him down now because he'll get a bit cranky <laughs> with me. So, this chair, uh, Kevy was also known at Parramatta as Santa, and you can see by his beard. Yeah. At, at Parramatta... For many, many, many years, we have a concrete block which faced the racetrack. And to the right is our dummy grid. Yep. And to the left and the back is the actual pit area. Yep. And out the front is the actual racetrack. And Kevy's job was the pit announcer. Okay, yep. Very, very kind-hearted guy. Yeah. And for many, many years, that was his job. And this was his chair. Oh, really? So once he roused it up, heat one to the dummy grid, yep. time trials, yep. he would sit down. Have a rest. And have a rest. And watch. For a long, long time. Yeah. And uh, Kevy actually uh, had a, a heart issue. Right. And became quite ill. And, 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 I know I shouldn't laugh, but this is how Kevy was. Yeah. And Kevy got a message to Pinky, which is his brother. Yeah. And Pinky is well known in motorsport for That's, uh, radio announcing. I've, yeah, I know of him, yeah. And, and yep. Pinky uh, got a message to me. Uh, Kevy wants to see you. Oh. Okay. So Michelle and I made a trip to Bankstown and we went in and saw Kevy. Yeah. And um, uh, as you do, I, I sat down next to his bed. Yep. And he was quite ill, but he still had a sense of humour. Yeah. And mm. and as you do, what can I? Is there anything I can do for you? Mm. And he said, "Yes, there's two things." Oh, here we go. <laughs> and I shouldn't laugh, but it's how he was. Yeah. Well. But What's the and I said, mate, as I grabbed his arm in a gentle manner, what what can I try and do for you? And uh, I won't, I can't swear on YouTube, but... 
the first one. We can, can guess. Can you give me your heart? Yeah. With a few other with words. A, with a word in. before the heart. And I said, mate, if I could, I would. Yeah. And he said, Lance, I, I know you. I know you would. Mm. And I went, okay, mate. <laughs> What's the second thing? He said, okay. I want you to take my chair home. Mm, unreal. You want me to take your chair? I want you to take my chair. Now, this I'll probably get emotional now. Yeah, that's okay. I want you to take my chair home. Mm. Because I never got to your big shed. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. And I want to watch. What a story. I want yeah, to watch. Over you. Watch what over you. What you guys do out there. <laughs> I know you have a lot of fun. So that's why the chair's pointing into the and shed. That's why the chair's there. Or when. When Mark or, and Brett, or when you're working or whatever, we, wherever we yeah. are, we turn the chair. <laughs> or if we're up this way, you would have seen when Roger was here. Yeah, was I did actually. Out. Yeah, and and that's Kerry's chair. Well, that's good, Lance. So what I done, I, <laughs> with the help of another good mate, Alan Edwards. Yep. Uh, the chair appeared <laughs> at my residence. <laughs> But on, I did replace the chair with two others. Yeah, so paid back. At the at the raceway. Yeah. Um, and it was funny and very remiss of me, but, and I'm not going to hold back, but I did sneak into Valvoline Raceway this week yep. to get some pictures. Yep. And where Kevy's chair used to be, we made a little plaque. Oh, okay. With, with this very photo yep. and two little angels. And I got a photo. Yeah. And Terry Hines, another good mate of ours, said, why didn't you get the plaque? Hmm. Thanks, Terry. Guess where I'm going this week. <laughs> and this plaque will end up here. Yeah. Where else? Yeah. Chair. Yeah. That's good. Lead. What a story. I don't anyone heard me say that. <laughs> so that's Kevin's well, that's... chair. And you can see the... The, the PCR clay is in ground. Yeah. Into the chair and mate. So the chair's got a lot of stories and oh. history and, <laughs> and, and memories. And if you knew Kev. Yeah. Well, I know of him. The stories too, I'm yeah, I, you. I know of him, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't know who you're talking about, yeah. even though I'm north of the border. Yeah, so that's Kevin. For those people who overseas, I'm, I'm what, about 13, 14 hours drive from here. Yeah. I, I live in another state. In case well, this ever well, gets to well, America. Kevin will, will be saying, well, that's your fault for coming here. Yeah. You know, you're, that's, that's just what he'd say. Well, that's your, yeah. you, know, you want to drive down here, that's your uh, problem. I love, we love coming back. <laughs> Come back to see our mate Lance. Okay, so let's go down here for you. So here we go. Back. Let's go for a walk. Now, I here we go. We've got to, um, we've got the, this is a car that creates a lot of, um, Conversation on Facebook, good and bad. And I'm on your side, Lance, as you know. Okay, let's get it out in the open. Yeah, let's go, because I'm on your side. It, it's a replica. It's a replica. It's the a, R word. It's a replica. Let's, yeah, and it's not a dirt car. But it has three <laughs> original items. Exactly. Which are, and I can show you another one in a minute. I know it's got the rear end. The... Wheel centres yep. were made by Brian Callahan and Jim Dixon. Die Cal wheel oh, okay. centres. Oh, that's where the D I came from. Die Cal. I wasn't Okay, so sure. what you're looking at is a replica of an LC Torana. <laughs> a replica. Did we hear that? Do you want to say it one more time, Lance? It's a replica. It's a replica. It has a 202 Holden motor, supercharged. And for our American friends, that's oh, a GM. It's like a Chevrolet, six-cylinder six Chevrolet motor. Sure. Built the supercharger by Brian Phillips. Carburetion, carburetion, carburetion <laughs> by Brian Callahan himself. So that's Brian Phillips <clears throat> as in P&R. P&R performance. From many years ago. It's lightweight. It used to run around Liverpool in third gear only. Even when I move it here, I don't that, put it in second or first. Is it a three-speed or a four-speed? It's an Aussie four-speed. So it's an Aussie four, yeah. It has, I wasn't sure. If you look at that black rod, that's the clutch handle. It's a hand clutch. Yeah, like the Beachy Monaro in the old days. That was a hand clutch, I think. Yeah. Now, 
It weighs approximately 600 kilograms. It was the first what we call space frame chassis. Yep. Manufactured. Why was it built? You heard me earlier mention a guy's name, Gene Welsh. Yeah. Gene Welsh would come to Australia and whip our asses. <laughs> and Brian got sick of that. <laughs> and Brian said to Gene Welsh, and Gene admired Brian. They became very good yeah. friends. Yeah. Gene looked at this car, and when this car was wound up down the straightaways, you could you could hear it scream. Mm -hmm. And Gene looked at it and he said, "Man, that's a rocket ship." Now let's stop right there. Yeah. Is this this like not the like the space frame or the steel body? Original. This is aluminium. Oh, this is fiberglass. Yeah, I know this one is. But was he talking about the the space frame or the one that I the P and R car? No, this one. This one. Okay, yeah. that's all right. We just wanted to clear that up. And Gene, sorry for buttoning in. That's all right. Gene said to Brian, <laughs> "This is a rocket ship." <laughs> and I think at the time it was when they came out with the Monzas. Probably, um, yeah, mate. Yeah, could have been. Because I think the, the P and R was seventy five, wasn't it? Yeah, like the first. And, and Brian said, well, mate. Because the 75 was the Vegas. He said, I got sick of you guys beating us, and the only way we <laughs> were going to beat you was to stop buying your shit. <laughs> and Gene put his arm around Brian and said, I love you. <laughs> so It's all competition. This one, this is the only car to win four 100-lap races. Two at Liverpool, two at... Two Marlborough Grand Nationals and two Easter 3000s at Tralee, mm, which right. is in Canberra. Yep. Um, Our capital. Um, very, very quick car. <coughs> we, don't, we won't put this on the racetrack. No. Nope. Same reason we won't put that on the racetrack. That's right. This is for static display only. Yeah. And it does create a lot of controversy. Yeah. Love it. a lot of chat. Love it. Um and it's an eye turner and it brings back a lot of memories for people that's, who went to that's Liverpool. That's what it's all about. And Canberra, we took it, we have taken it to a Canberra Speedway reunion two years ago. Went uh, to Goulburn one year, I remember. Goulburn, we had it on display. When it first came out, I think. We took it to Head and Greta. Okay, Head and Greta was a little dirt track, but we were invited. Yeah. And we took Brian that's with right. us. I remember that. Because Brian used to race the dirt car there. Yeah. Um, why a tubular chassis? Once again, Brian wanted to get rid of the weight. Is that chrome molly? There is no, it's steel. It is steel. There is no floor in this car. It was the only way. The rear end is designed by Brian himself. Um, the fuel tank is under here. Now. So that's the floor there, isn't it? Yep. Well, oh, it is too, yeah. Now, when wow. they come up to the 100 lap races, everyone's going pit stop, pit stop. But if we were to pull this out, Brian, for the 100 lappers, pulled this aluminium out, or in America, as you guys say, aluminium. Aluminium, yeah. And put in a 200 litre fuel tank, or in America, 44 gallons. <laughs> and while the other guys were getting fueled up, he just kept going so round and round. So was that legal or illegal? Who cared? <laughs> And so everywhere on Facebook, I often see photos of you in this showing everybody your sore finger like, like that. Okay. So let's hear the story about that. Okay, so I've, I've tried to explain this many times that it's not an unseen gesture. No, I knew there'd be a nice there, story behind it. There is a famous photo, and forgive me if I'm wrong, but there's a famous photo, I, I think, it's Al Unser Senior racing yep. at Decoin, Illinois on a one mile dirt track. Wow. And you will see his pit crew. I think I know the photo. Hanging over the wall. Send that photo. I'll put that in. Doing later. that. I will put that in this video. He's doing that. Yes. And what he is doing is saying, go up track. Oh, okay. That's what the gesture is. That was the photo in the 60s or whatever? That's black and white. That's it's the one I've seen it. Picture. I've seen it, yeah. 
So we'll hunt that down and we'll put that in so here. In my capacity that I had at Valvoline Raceway, yep. again, I'm being very privileged to be on the infield where oh. I could have seen a, a rut or a rock oh, okay. where I would be on the infield with the crash crew, Frank Scandalera, Chris, the boys, James, and go, boys, get him to go up track. Get him oh, to go okay. up track. All right. And it became a signal or my, yeah, like a catchphrase. Yeah, just a trademark. Where I'd be walking through the pits and everyone would oh, go, okay. Oh, okay. So there's a story. So there's a, there's a, now that's a great photo there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's that one, one over was here. taken from the bridge at, at Parramatta. Yeah. And so <laughs> it's, it's, they call it my own signature. Parramatta trademark. Whatever, yeah. And like I say, it's not an unseen no. gesture. It's, it's, it's no, if, if there's you a can story track behind down it. that black and white photo. Yeah, I, I will. I'll put it on the video. It's, 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 yeah. Go up track. I know. I've seen the vote. I know the photo. I'll, or if you find it, can you email it to yeah, me? Yeah. I probably wouldn't be able, I wouldn't have it in my collection, I'll, but. I'll, I'll try and have a look tonight. Um, it'll, um, but, but that's where it I'll put up. it on like now while, it, while we're talking about it. It's a speedway signal. Yeah. Yeah. Go up track. Well, so now I, even I know that story because I didn't. I didn't really. I don't care well, what anyone else says. That's what it is. No, well, I, I knew it wasn't anything bad. I no, just, it's not. Honestly, I just wanted to know what, what it was all about. So I, yeah. I was pulled up again by a vintage guy who said, "Oh, that's not. That's not very good." Yeah. So you might see in my later photos, especially the past few months, where. Oh, okay. And people go, "Oh, you got to be kidding me!" Well, political because it's not. Yeah. No, you know, just stick so, to what you know. The world's getting too PC oh, now. Oh, mate, it gives you the willies. Gives you the shits, eh? But, um, anyway, who cares? I don't. No. I'm here to have fun. <laughs> if I've upset anybody too bad. Well, we're here for a short time, not yeah, a long yeah, time. and that's what this is all about. Mate, this is great. But, yeah, this is my sh <laughs> this is my Sammy Shrine. Yeah, no, I know you're a big Sammy you know, fan. And, and, and you know... Yeah. Um, this is my good mate, Al Edworthy. You, you, yeah, I know. You well, actually, I met him at Lismore the same yeah, time I met you. Yeah, was the same So meeting. what year was that again? 2008. I knew it was a while back. I remember when we went to Lismore. And, and Al, Al's been putting a book together for many years. So every single Offenhauser that came to Australia. Yeah. It's a great book. So, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah sorry. I'd, great yeah. book. I'm a little bit out of the loop where I live, but I'm trying to, with yeah. this, I'm trying to get back into it with the channel. So now, now you're getting down to my charity stuff. So that's another chapter. <laughs> that's another cha big chapter in my life. Yeah, I know. It was a big part of your life, all right, Very wasn't it? Very big part. And and we had our reasons for that. It was not always just for the fun. Yeah. Yeah, we just again personal reasons there. got us into that. Sorry, I was just getting a bit off track there. Yeah. 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 My son was born very, very early with a lot of oh. issues. Oh, really? And that got us into it. Mm. And I was privileged to... We'll oh, that, mate, we'll, we'll be here for hours for that. You yeah, know, I just didn't know, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind talking I'm about still it. still rolling, we'll yeah. We'll be here for hours. Um, the helmets, that, that, yeah. uh, that one up there with the star, that's Johnny Rutherford's helmet. Oh, really? When he came Lone to star. Race, when he came Show to the midget, yeah. And I love the old... Um, the one with 39 was one Brian The first race. one? Yeah. The old style, what, do you, what sort of mask yeah. do you call them? The monkey mask. Okay, yeah. I, the, I the, think they look like gladiators. The Simpson, first Simpson, that was Michelle. She raced it with the Corolla. Okay. The one with 39, 39. was Brian's last helmet he had at Bathurst. Okay. And Johnny Rutherford. Rutherford. And then Johnny Stewart. No, I'm only joking. Yeah. <laughs> you wish. I wish. And then your Mackay. Yes. That's Which my was, offie. That's the only. Yeah. That's the only offie I could yeah. ever afford. And that was with the the um, seventy five car when it was here that's in it. the photo shoot. It, yeah, it was. And what's the young fellow? Um, oh, I can't think because I'm not up to modern spoon. Oh, the young Mackay. Oh, Reed. Reed had the Reed helmet came, on. Reed came. And. Um, yep, we saw. Got in his uh, great granddad's car. Yep. And that was a big thing for him as well. Yeah. And he enjoyed it. Yeah. And an eye-opener for him too. It was. To see, you know. Oh, a very big eye-opener for um, Reed. I, I love um, 
Well, most the, of us. These are a bunch of bits going in the new. The number 40, uh, 45. Well, we don't know what we're going to well, do. Well, yeah. But they're all the bits for the yeah. car over the back there. That one over there. I've been gathering. Sorry if this filming's a little bit shaky, but we're trying to cover a little bit of ground. I love the model of the Tirana. Look at that. Well, well, I filmed it already. Well, but. Tony Dale built that, the, the guy we bought the Burton car, car yeah. off, and now that actually lights up. All right. That's a beautiful bit of gear, that. Is that a Bianti car? or No, he built that. What, even the body and everything? He built them. He, really? he got two models, cut them in pieces, yeah. and then built them together. And he really? has since, oh, no. Beautiful. He's built a diorama that's in our house. Yep. Which led him to build another one, actually for Brian, yeah. uh, with the Falcon and the Commodore, and it's like it's it's real deal. Looks it, good. It's it's we had it built for Brian's for Christmas. Yeah, and it's a workshop. It's got the men. It's oh, got okay. Motors. Yeah. You know, Valvoline oil cans, hmm. and and the, and the two cars and. Tony Dale does some really, really good diorama stuff. So, mm. anybody watching this wants a good diorama build, mm. I can put you in touch with Tony. I can tell you. Yeah. And and for sure, well, that's what it's all about. What he charges, it's worth. Like, you know, uh, I'm just trying to think. Robbie, that had a big crash in a speed car, he built this one with the helmet, and the helmet over here lights up, and with the. the the temperature gauge and the barometer, and I bought that at an auction. Hmm. Um, and we raised some money for young Robbie, but Tony Dale, he's down at Albion Park down the south coast. Yep. And he does some really good work. Hmm. But um, it's like I say, mate, every every single item in here it's has got a, a story. story. And that's what this is all about, this channel. For a week. I know, I uh, could be easily. Let's just talk about the little uh, mini, because that's from Liverpool. Uh, yes, it is. is. The, the uh, good wife here um, I, asked me what the little mini was all okay, about. Okay, the mini is called Half for a reason. <laughs> the beautiful it's wife over here in the background. Yeah, that's it. Now, this was... One of my stickers on there too, Lance. An actual car that used to be a push car. Yeah. Only we've taken the front bar off. And it used to push the GP midgets and the speed cars and the compacts at Liverpool City Raceway. Yeah. But... A lot of people may remember it. It used to be white. I thought it was different. And it used to be owned by a guy not related to me named Merv Wilson. Yeah. Now, it was built, three of these were built by, again, I, I mentioned a friend of mine from Parramatta, Alan Edwards. Yep. Well, Alan's brother built three of them. Now, if you're ever up on the Gold Coast, and I know you enjoy your coffee and I go to Robbie Farr's coffee shop. I know you enjoy your whining and dining. <laughs> there is a coffee shop on the Gold Coast yeah. that has one of these, and it's a grey colour. Yeah. And it's the sister one. To oh, this. okay. So this particular one sat in Alan's driveway for about 15 years. Yeah. Big Shed was born. Alan said, oh, I've got something that you might like. So it's on loan, is it, or...? No, I actually, Alan, I it. Alan wanted to give it to me. Yeah. I've, and look, Alan's a lovely guy, but I've seen where people knock on doors later and go, that's mine. Yeah, okay. So I bought it. So you can't, there's no comeback. It's been paid for. Yeah. We came to an agreement. It's all right. It does run. Yeah. And what we do, uh, we dress it up at Christmas like a Santa sleigh. Oh. And we drive it around the street handing out lollies to kids. Really? And if you went behind that wall, which you don't really want to because it's a shower and toilet area, yeah. you'll see reindeers and oh, okay. the storage. heads and stuff. Storage. But uh, <laughs> the light works, the horn works, yep. the motor goes, but there's no battery in it at the moment. Yeah, um, it's all good. And for those that remember Humphrey Bear, he's real. Yeah. <laughs> It's a story. He's, Humphrey, Humphrey doesn't wear any pants. Here's one of my stickers, Lance. He's, he's real. Yes. Well, mate, your stickers are everywhere. It's good. Um, yeah, so uh, I Fair. bought the, the mini off Alan. And again, people it's that Humphrey. remember Liverpool and, yeah. and, and Newcastle. This was right. a big feature at Newcastle when it was running. Yeah. So uh, half, 
Yeah. Now resides in the big shed. Yeah. So it's here. So another talking piece. It, it is. A lot, a lot, amongst again, everything else. Kids love getting in it. Yeah. You know, well, they can kind of, it looks a bit cartoon, like, um, what do you, what's that, the car movies? I'll, I'll put the battery wonder. in and the kids get in, they get the lights going, they get the horns going and yeah. like I said, Christmas time, it's a big hit, especially around the streets here. For our American friends, that's Humphrey, who has <laughs> been around forever. Well, <laughs> he, not so much now, but he, he's a bear that doesn't wear any pants. Yes, very controversial bear. Um, at the moment he would be, yeah. He's not a drop bear, Oop. but he might have droop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's old, he's pretty old. Not this actual bear, but the original. But yeah, no, it's good. Right, uh, well, here we are. We're just at the end of the video, and like we've just touched the, the tip of the iceberg, or whatever it is, you know. Like, there's Raise gonna, the there's going to be like past three, four, five, maybe even more. Talking to Lance and showing there's everything in here. He's got a story to tell. Everything in here has a story, and that's what this channel is going to be all about. It's not going to be about chasing big name people. It's people who, like you who are just, you know, passion speedway all your life. Well, that's We're going to be good. chasing little young fellas who are trying to get into racing. Yeah. That's you know, what, like the grassroots of that's racing. That's what we need. That. That's what we need, yeah. And with the channel, we're hoping that we can provide a, a niche out there, you know, not just speedway, but motor racing, people with man caves. So do we need sponsors for this channel? How does it work? Yeah, well, that would be good, guy. Yeah, we, well, that would help because then I could come back. Yeah. If people want to help. Okay, so we should talk about it. And we that. can come come back because I'd like to be involved with. I want this thing to expand. Okay. And I think there's a niche out there. Well, we should and, we should really talk about that as well. Okay, well, that would be great, Lance. Mm. You never know. Mm. The big shed. The big shed. Well, <laughs> well, that's another thing we didn't touch on. Michelle oh, no. and I in the big shed. We sponsor a lot of kids. Okay. In the speedway. Yeah. And when we say that, what we do is we we might pay their entry fee at every meeting they go. Yeah, well, anything helps. Because I was later on, if this thing goes, mm. which I think it will, get somebody to sponsor a fuel or whatever, so we can that's, travel around and do that's more. That's all we need to do. You know, and we can come back to Sydney and yep. even if you fly down and yep. bring the camera and the gear and yep. and hire, you know, and just travel around. and Good stuff. Because I want to go off. Oh, there's plenty of people who I'd like to see, but, you know. Good stuff. You've got to hit the road because you've got more stickers and mugs to make for me. <laughs> and after tonight, I think uh, the club might want, want to talk to you about some shirts. Yeah, I love the good. It's been a, a, it's good, been a good, couple of, good couple of hours. Even I've enjoyed it. Well, so. the, the, little, the little wife's at the back there holding the camera and oh, she's say, my, one of my biggest supporters. You never say little, mate. <laughs> uh, she's, my little warrior wife She's a good supporter. No, no, look, I, we, 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 well, we just had to interrupt because I got a... We, we got a call from Gary Coleman, so we had to... Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Just for a second. Yeah, that's good, Gary Coleman. Yeah, well, Gary, I know. Well, I don't know like I said, I'm a name dropper and I love it. <laughs> this is what it's all about, mate. Name drop. <laughs> no, but, you know. We'll be right. I'm looking and maybe more mugs. We need some more cash flow to keep the channel going. <laughs> you never maybe, know, maybe stickers. Anything, mate. You know what, you know. Well, mate, it all like helps. I said to I'm here to help. It all helps. Like, I'm here to be part of the Speedway family. That's it. I never got the chance to drive. I was always on the other side of the Well, that, look, I that, like that's another, like that's another story we can go and do with me. So yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I'm, like, I'm, I'm doing now what I wanted to do when I was 19, but yeah. we'll talk about that later. Yeah, no, that'll be part two. <laughs> we might have to do a Zoom call. You never know. Maybe, but if we can get some... We can do that Zoom. If anybody out there wants to help, I'm sure I'll be, we'd be very appreciative. Let's get on it. Thanks, Lance. Thanks for having us. Stay behind. Any...